it's very difficult feeling try to hide where I'm going on my kids trying to feel yeah, to make my mom feel that everything will be fine and I know that I'm lying that everything will not be fine I don't know if I was if I'm arrested tomorrow what my wife will tell my kids and does she will have the courage to tell them that I'm arrested if she will be in a good situation to lie on them and tell them that your father is not here yeah, he's traveling on a business trip I have been charged with 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 charges that could put me in jail for 25 years I will waste a lot of time uh, my kids will grow up and I'm not with them so I'm concerned about all of this there are so many things in my head and there are so many questions that I don't want to answer and I try to escape from answering those questions because I want to be tomorrow appear in front of the judge as a strong person not hesitated and to be proud of what I've did and everything I've done thinking of all of those questions and try to find an answer this will make me somehow uncomfortable and hesitated. One of the evidence against me was writing the Universal Periodic Review report in 2014. And this is something that I proudly told the investigator that, yes, I wrote this report. And I am very proud of all the efforts that have been done in this report. This shows that the Egyptian government does really care about its international image. They want their narrative to be dominated and no other narrative or no other discourse of what's happening in Egypt. With every terrorist attack, there are more repercussions taken by the government and I'm afraid that those repercussions is not targeting the real threat, which is a radical, the Islamist radicals group, but it's targeting the peaceful groups human rights defenders, political parties. I'm afraid that the government is taking an opportunity to make their hand more tight and strong over the society, to declare the state of emergency, to pass new very repressive laws, to arrest more people. Egypt has been seen as a cornerstone in the stability in the region, but actually it is not. This regime are fueling radicalization in the country, providing the Islamist radical groups more soldiers by preventing justice, by preventing equality, by closing all the civic spaces. The government needs to know that they do need civil society, they do need human rights defenders. 
We are not the enemy of any government. We are not the enemy of anyone. We are just like an alarm for the government that things are not going good and things are not running smooth. So you need to change your policies. The most important thing is not, is not the military or the security uh, solution, but it's justice, respecting human rights, gives the people another alternative than the radicals have. I've been working in the human rights field since I have been graduated from Faculty of Law, but actually, I always dreamed to be a pilot, but now it's very difficult even to achieve this dream if there is any opportunity to achieve it. But it's very difficult because I never heard about a pilot that uh, under travel ban. <laughs> I don't stand unjust and I hate to be silent when there's something I feel that it's wrong. For me, if I remain silent and for me and for all my colleagues will not be happy with ourselves, will not be comfortable. But if we choose to be on the side of the government, I don't think that we are going to respect ourselves. I know from the very beginning when I started to work in the human rights field under a totalitarian regime like Mubarak that in the end of this pass, there is a consequence. There will be some kind of price. We are going to spend a good amount of our lives in prison. I don't know how I should be prepared to go to prison. But actually, I shouldn't be prepared for this. Everyone except me should be prepared not to let this happen. I fear that I will be arrested sooner or later. I never ever thought of leaving the country because it's better for me to fight more here in Egypt in order to get a better life. The success that we are achieving, it's in very, very difficult circumstances. So although the, all the circumstances around you is not encouraging, but this is something that give us a reason why we should continue. Seeing a lot of young generation talking about the universality of human rights and talking about the right to know, and the flow of information, freedom of association, freedom of assembly. There is a lot of solidarity from different groups, from, from political parties, from human rights organizations, from public figures. This is actually the fuel that that we can yeah, that let us move and this is actually the food that keeping us alive and even if we are if we know very well that that we will not have a happy ending and most probably this will be uh, something yeah, dramatic but at least we will be very proud of what was achieved and what was achieved by the human rights movement in Egypt since 1984 till now.